finally, it's here. All that hard work is paid off and it's time to retire and live out those golden years. But the only question you have to answer now is where should I retire? If Delaware was one on your list, you're in luck, my friend, because in this video, I'm gonna go over some of the pros and cons of retiring here in Delaware. And you're gonna wanna make sure you stick around to the end so you don't miss anything important. And plus, you're retired. You got plenty of time now, right? But seriously, by the end of this video, you'll have a lot more insight as to why Delaware is constantly ranked one of the top states to retire in. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Brandon Windham, and I help people buy and sell homes here in Delaware. I'm a lifelong Delaware native and on this channel, I'll go over what it's like living here in Delaware. And if you're thinking about either buying or selling here in Delaware, I'll leave all my info in the description down below. I'd love to have a conversation and see if it made sense for us to potentially work together. Now, let's start with the pros of living here in Delaware. So the first one is gonna be taxes. And honestly, this probably has to be one of the most significant reasons why people decide to retire here to Delaware. Because let's face it, you gotta keep Uncle Sam happy what I mean by that is that the taxes here are significantly less, so Uncle Sam is gonna stay happy. The first main tax benefit is that Delaware doesn't have any sales tax. And if you've been watching me for a while, I know you're probably tired of hearing this, but what that means is, is that when you go to grab something um, on the shelf or wherever and it's $5, when you get to the register, it's still only gonna be $5. It's not gonna be 513, 512, 509, it's gonna be $5. So that's a great benefit that people enjoy here. I know I do. And I'm a realtor and I couldn't forgive myself if I didn't mention property taxes here in Delaware. And they're some of the lowest in the nation. So just to illustrate that a bit, here in Delaware, the average homeowner is only gonna pay about $1,500 a year in property taxes. Obviously, that's gonna depend on where you live and how much house you buy but on average, it's somewhere around that. And that's very advantageous to maybe someone who wants to keep their costs low or and maybe doesn't want a mortgage. When you're talking about $1,500 a year, that's only about $125 a month if you divide that out monthly. And another bonus that you have, if you're over 65 or maybe you're a 100% disabled veteran, there's other exemptions for the school tax that you may qualify for to bring that property tax bill down even lower. But wait, there's more. There's some even more nuanced tax benefits that maybe some people don't think about or don't talk about or isn't as popular as some of the other ones that we have here. So one of them is an inheritance tax. So if you have children or heirs, I love saying that word heirs, but if you do and you decide to pass on assets or wealth or anything like that, Delaware doesn't tax you on that. So you can have that peace of mind knowing that everything you worked for and all your assets that you're passing down to your children or whoever won't be taxed at a substantial rate. And the estate tax here is pretty low. And Delaware also offers some exclusions and exemptions for social security benefits and pensions. Small disclaimer, I am a real estate agent, not a CPA or a tax professional. You're gonna to wanna to talk to one of them to make sure that you can make a well-informed decision on if retiring here to Delaware is gonna be the best decision for you or not. So another pro of living here is location, location, location. One of the first things I learned in real estate is location isn't everything, it's the only thing. So when you take that in mind, Delaware has a great central location. It's a great home base, so to speak. It's close to plenty of major cities such as Philly, Baltimore, DC, New York, or New Jersey. So the great thing about that is that you're going to get access to all those amenities that are in those bigger cities, but your local day-to-day -day life probably won't be burdened with some of the drawbacks that come with living in the larger cities. Such things as bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic, higher cost of living, overcrowding, and just the overall stress that may come with that faster pace living in a large city. And if you're someone who has travel on that bucket list, this is great. Delaware is super close to a bunch of airports that do international travel, such as PHL in Philly or BWI in Baltimore. Delaware now actually has its own small airport in Newcastle that's serviced by Avello Airlines. While they don't go to everywhere in the US or do any international travel, they go to a lot of the bigger destinations on the East Coast, such as Florida to Carolina, so on and so forth. And if you're someone who loves convenience, it's great, it's small, there's only one terminal, 
actually here in uh, September, I believe that they've added Puerto Rico. So I'm super excited about that. I got married in Puerto Rico. I love Puerto Rico. So I'm definitely gonna hit that up and try that out. Another pro is that there's a lot of 55 plus communities here in Delaware. And if you're one of those people who are like, well, Brandon, I'm not 55 yet and I'm retiring. Well, way to rub it in our faces. But for everyone else who is over 55, there's a bunch of 55 plus communities here for you. And to just be honest, Delaware is more of an older state. Our median population age is 41, which ranks us number eight in the nation. So because of that, we have a bunch of 55 plus communities here. There's over 65 just in our little state alone. So chances are you're definitely gonna be able to find one that maybe suits you and your lifestyle. And some of the amenities that come with those communities are that they have clubhouses, gyms, recreational areas, and so on and so forth. And some of them actually have structured events for the community to try to encourage, you know, community awareness, togetherness, and everybody to stay active. And there's a couple of other little bonuses that come along with the community, such as they may offer lawn care, so if you are someone who does travel a lot and you're gone for maybe a week or two on end, you don't have to worry about your house looking a mess with the yard all messed up or anything like that because they'll take care of all that for you. The next pro here is the weather. And you know how the old saying goes, if you wanna know the weather for the week, ask a retiree. Or is that something I just say? I don't know, but whatever. And weather is definitely a very major factor when picking where you want to retire. And for the most part here in Delaware, it's pretty mild. We do have all four seasons though. So if you're someone who's just looking for a summer all year round, Delaware may not be the place for you. Fall here is pretty typical. It can get pretty brisk and it comes complete with pumpkin spice and the changing of the leaves. Now the winter here is hit or miss. Sometimes we'll have years where it gets really cold out and we have snowfall, maybe we have, you know, a couple inches to a foot. And then some years it gets cold and it just never snows. It's kind of 50-50 hit or miss. Sometimes in March there's a blizzard and sometimes in March it's 60, 70 degrees outside. Um, the spring again, pretty mild, just your average temps, you know, 70s, 80s with a bunch of rain and wind. But the summers here can feel a little bit hotter because you know how the old saying goes, it's not the heat that gets you it's the humidity and here on the east coast in delaware that is definitely a thing the humidity gets very high here so you definitely might want to bring some baby powder and since we are on the coast and by water there is risk for hurricanes or tropical storms but it's actually really rare if we'll get a direct hit here in delaware usually we get the tail end of storms so you can expect you know just heavier rainfall and some stronger winds than what would be normal when those do come around. Another big pro, of course, this wouldn't be a video about Delaware if I didn't talk about the beaches. It's one of our main reasons for tourism in the States and one of the factors that draw people here year after year. The state takes a lot of pride in the cleanliness of our beaches and just our beaches in general. They consistently rank very high in the top beaches in the area, but something I think that people don't talk enough about is our state parks. We actually have 17 throughout the entire state and each have their own little unique feel and attractions, such as Go Ape Adventure Park in Lums Pond there in Newcastle County. Or if maybe you don't wanna to go to the beach, you can go to Cape Henlopen, which has a little miniature beach there that's usually a little less crowded than the major ones. Or if you're someone who loves the outdoors and you wanna stay active and healthy and you're tired of walking on the treadmills at that boring old gym, almost all of the state parks have some sort of nature trail that you can either walk on or bike or hike. Now, I would be doing you a disservice if I just sat up here and said, hey, that's the end of the video. Nothing wrong with Delaware. It doesn't have any problems whatsoever. Have a great day. But truth is that there's pros and cons to everything, even here in Delaware. So let's talk about them. So the first one here is definitely a lack of public transportation. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it for you. It is not great here in Delaware. There's a bunch of limited hours and routes. So if you do move to Delaware or decide to retire here you're definitely gonna need a car so if you're in the northernmost part of the state where it's a little bit more urban it's not as bad but it's a far cry from some of our surrounding states with the bigger cities and as you get further down to more rural parts maybe in Kent or Sussex County it's almost non-existent 
So if you're someone who's used to having everything in walking distance or just being able to hop on the bus or a subway to get to where you need to go, Delaware is definitely gonna take a bit of adjusting to just because our public transportation isn't up to those standards, at least not yet. So another con is access to healthcare. And this one is a bit tricky because we have a major hospital, at least one major hospital, if not more in every county and there's a bunch of satellite clinics, walk-ins, and emergency cares all throughout the state. So it's not as hard as finding a clinic so much as it is getting seen with all the shortages in healthcare because of the last couple of years and just the pure demand because like I said earlier, Delaware is an older state and as you get older, you tend to take a bit of more of a concern and look at your health. So you have a little bit more doctor's appointments and you might need to see the doctor more often. And because of that, some of the waits to actually see a doctor can get pretty lengthy. And if you're someone who does require a specialist because of a condition or anything like that, it may be harder to find a doctor here in Delaware just because we're a bit smaller. But because of our central location, our neighboring states will, I'm sure will have one and it won't take you long to get there. So this next one is gonna be a two-parter. It's gonna be overcrowding and home prices. So honestly, this probably shouldn't come as a surprise. With Delaware being consistently ranked one of the top places to retire and live, we're seeing a lot of influx here. People have been deciding to retire and relocate here to Delaware by the boatload. And because of that influx of people, that comes with its own set of growing pains and Delaware is no stranger to them. So Delaware is starting to feel that stress on the roadways and some of its public facilities just because it hasn't been, the infrastructure hasn't been able to catch up with the huge demand that is all the people moving here. And with all those people moving here, it kind of leads up to that second con, which is home prices. Now we all know simple economics, when demand is high and supply is low, price is definitely gonna rise. Now with the shortages and demand, we're seeing home prices increase. Now, while it's a lot lower than our surrounding states, it's still a little bit quicker than people are used to. And my final con is gonna be just in an effort to keep up with all the development and housing supply and everything else that goes along with population growth. And it's coming along with an unintentional side effect, which is that we're seeing some of those open spaces in the nature that brought people here to Delaware, some of that more rural uh, vibe that we have here. So that's gonna do it for my list of pros and cons of retiring here in Delaware. So overall, it's just gonna depend on your specific situation and what you want your life to look like during retirement. But if you like this video and you wanna see more content like this, feel free to watch this video I linked right here.